A particle moves along the parametric curve described by x equals cos t and y equals sine t. What is the average rate of change of y with respect to x over the interval pi over 4 is less than or equal to t is less than or equal to pi over 2? Now, usually when we think um, average rate of change, we whip out this formula, the formula that we've been using since good old uh, unit 1 way back in the day. And you're like, ah, let's find out what A and B are, which so far nothing's changed, and um, plug it into the formula. Well, here's the issue with the formula. We've got two the formulas. So we can't use this formula right here. What we're going to do is we're going to go back to the old school definition of what average rate of change means. And average rate of change is the same exact thing as slope. Slope, which is the change of Y over the change of X. So what we're going to do is we're going to use that concept to figure out the changes of y over the changes of x. In other words, y of b minus y of a over b attached to x, so x of b minus x of a. And now we just kind of plug stuff in and go. Okay, y of b would be sine of pi over 2, so sine of pi over 2, minus y of a is going to be sine of pi over 4, so sine of pi over 4, over x of b, which is going to be cosine of pi over 2, minus cosine of pi over 4. Sine of pi over 2 is 1 minus sine of pi over 4 is root 2 over 2 all over cosine of pi over 2 is nerfin minus cosine of pi over 4 is also root 2 over 2. All right, so let's combine these two guys on the top. Let's turn 1 into 2 over 2 minus root 2 over 2 all over negative root 2 over 2. Lots of 2s. These guys combine to make 2 minus root 2 over 2 over negative root 2 over 2. Let's get rid of that fraction on the bottom by multiplying the top and the bottom by 2 over root 2. Don't forget the negative. So multiply the top and the bottom by negative 2 over root 2, cross, cross. These guys can cancel out. That gets me 2 minus root 2 over root 2 with a big negative out in front. Multiply the top and the bottom by root 2 over root 2. Okay. Okay. So uh, that becomes 2 on the bottom. Distribute that. 2 root 2 minus uh, root 2 times root 2 is regular 2. Don't forget the negative out in front. There's a 2 in common with everything. So if I divide everything or both of these by 2, I am left with negative root 2 minus 1. Because that negative is still out there, which changes that to negative root 2 plus 1. Kind of a gross, gross, gross problem. But we did it.